What's up, YouTube gang? It's your girl, Jayla Nail. If you're a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Start watching this video. Watch all the videos that I post on my YouTube channel. Like and comment. And then come back to this video. Watch it and like the comment. So, um, today I went to my doctor's appointment. Um, I'm currently 34 weeks pregnant in a day. And so, basically, we were just checking on baby. Um, my doctors were explaining to me that they had to switch my Lovenox which is blood thinners for people that do not know. Um, I had to take those so that I won't get a blood clot. You know, um, I had a pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot in my lungs when I was pregnant with my daughter. So I had to take my blood thinners. Um, they were telling me that at 36 weeks, we had to switch to heparin. You know, just if you look into it, you look into it. So with that being said, I actually wanted to talk about something that I've seen on Facebook. And it's about the um, uh, the prescription or well the medication called Gabin Gabin Sixteen or something like that. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I'll put the um, medication in the comments below. Also, excuse the noise that my kids are making, but you know, kids are kids. So um, when I looked it up, it says it's a nerve medication and something else. I know that I've seen in the comments on Facebook that it's used to control seizures um i know a lady i think a lady said that her mom takes them for seizures or whatever like that so i've seen like maybe two posts when women said that they were given this but it they that the doctors didn't put it in their charts and to me that's very um that's very weird you know because why are you prescribing medication and not it in their charts so to me that's very suspect but then again like i don't know i've never been given that with all three of my pregnancies so um and these are like from women that said that they were complaining to their doctors about like having pain and one lady said that she didn't even know that she was losing her uh what is it am amniotic i'm sorry i'm not good at pronouncing words her fluid she was losing her fluid and she didn't even know and um the doctor never checked to see if she had any or, you know, to make sure that she was okay, basically, that he just only prescribed her that and told her that she'll be fine. So she was about like 39 weeks when she had to deliver and her baby ended up dying. And so basically, like, it's I just feel like it's kind of messed up. Like, I feel like the medications that we receive, we should probably just look into. I'm not saying that every doctor is going to give you any bad medication. I'm not saying that every doctor is like, you know, this person that's just going to like give you anything that's going to mess up your body. So, and then also with like, if you feel bad, you know, like if you feel like something's wrong with your body and your doctor isn't listening, get another opinion. And that's just off. That's just facts. You know, get another opinion. And if they say the same thing, get another opinion. And it's okay because your health comes first. And it's not okay for a doctor to prescribe you something that could potentially hurt your baby. And it's not okay for a doctor to ignore you when you say that you have signs or, you know, any issues going on with your body when you're carrying a child. When you're carrying a child, you're close to death. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're close to dying. That's like... And honestly, I want to say even without it being pregnant, you don't have to be pregnant. If you have issues going on that you and you feel like there's something wrong, you need to get another opinion and keep getting another opinion. That's just how I feel about the, Stop it. That's just how I feel about the whole situation. Um, I just don't think it's fair to parents, you know, that has lost their kids because they're getting prescribed the wrong medication. Or the doctor's not taking the time to do the ultrasound or, you know, check the cervix or whatever the case may be. So, I just wanted to make that a thing that um, I discuss in this YouTube video. Especially since I'm pregnant and I'm going through my journey with you guys. So, also, by the way, now that I explained all of that and got that all off my chest, um... So, guys, okay, so I told you guys I was going to be posting another video. It's the um, What's in My Hospital Bag Part 2. Guys, don't talk so, but I went ahead and, um,
Father and my child ordered um, our baby a diaper bag. So um, I just start thinking like, yeah, I still don't want to take a diaper bag. But then I start thinking again um, that maybe I should. And the only reason I'm thinking that maybe I, you know, should bring the bag is because, so first of all, I forgot about the snacks. I forgot about the drinks that I'm going to want because hospital food is not so good to me. Um, so I'm like, okay, if I need to bring the snacks and the drinks, I might really need that extra space in my bag. And then I was like, okay, the, di the doctor's going to give you diapers and, um, Mommy. yes, it's going to give you diapers and wipes. So, you know, maybe I should just go ahead and bring his diaper bag so that he can have his own space for the um, items that the doctor is going to give us. So, that's just what I came up with as far as you know, just going ahead and bring both of our bags separately. Um, also, so I was supposed to, um, I am so sorry, my kids are so loud, but well, my son mainly, but. Um, so I was supposed to close for Thanksgiving, but like I said, something came up. So, um, Thanksgiving was wonderful. It was beautiful. I ate plenty of food. I had a great time with my family. Everyone came over and I really enjoyed their vibes. You know, we all ate, we danced, we sang. It was like really a true moment and I really loved it. You know, spending time with your family is everything because, you know, when you get older, you know, time is just going in. You're not going to get that back. So that was really wonderful to do. Um, another thing is, by the way, I will be posting um, what's in my hospital bag part two this weekend. I want to say Sunday. I'll, I'll do Sunday or actually I'll do Saturday. I don't know. Like between one of those days, I'll give you guys an update on like Wednesday or so. Or update on like Thursday when I will be posting the video. Um, I'll be posting it on my Instagram. So if you follow me on there, which is uh, j.lene underscore, or if you follow me on Snapchat, I think that's jlene18, then you'll see when um, I will be posting the video. I also have um, two appointments coming up next week. The first one is to basically like get my registry going with the hospital so that when it's time for me to deliver i won't have any complications i could just come in and then we can go straight to the room and get prepped for baby the second appointment is uh for me to switch to heparin which i told you guys about earlier in this video so that's really all of the things that i have to do next week and then the other video that i'll post again this week um so pretty much it like i said again if you're a new subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button watch all my videos like and comment and come back to this video and if you're a returning viewer thank you guys for watching this video much love